Hello, everybody. It's I, the Waluigi Big Mac. And welcome to Pizza Tower. Or welcome back to Pizza Tower, rather. Last time we did, uh... We did, uh, Gnome Forest, and I unfortunately missed a secret, so I wasn't able to get S rank on this. But that doesn't matter. And I... And honestly, I wasn't trying to go for all the secrets anyway. It's just so happened that I just happened to remember where all the secrets are for the past few. And... And for the record, yes, I do remember where the, where the secret I missed is. Uh, yeah, if I do, and you're saying, if I do end up collecting the rest of the secrets somehow, then I, then on the very last episode, I will go back and grab that secret. On ca and I'll probably, like, I'll, I'll probably be after I beat the final boss, but, but, uh, actually, you know what, I'll do it before the final boss. Uh, but yeah, I'll show, I'll show off uh, what happens, or where, where that secret I missed is. But yeah, uh, let's change your outfit this time. Uh, what have we used yet? Uh, we haven't used the polka dots yet. Uh, to get this outfit, you have to... Uh, rem sorry, I remember how I mentioned the unfunny cook? Uh, to get this one, you have to... Uh, it's like the unfunny uh, cook outfit where you have to end the combo on unfunny, which is like 75 to whatever. But this time, you're going to need to finish the combo on funny, which is 70 to 74. As soon as it hits 75, you get unfunny. Anyway, here's our next level. Deep Dish 9. So, uh, here's the new transformation. Rocket. Uh, also, I, I might as well show that's where Red Jerome's uh, uh, Janus Fault is. So you're going to have to dig it during uh, pizza time. Also, aliens! We haven't seen these guys since the uh, Rango Desert. Uh, however, we also have aliens outside of their spaceships. I, I like I like the uh, look of the aliens uh, face when you hit them. But anyway, you have these asteroids. They can only be destroyed uh, by a rocket. I do not want to go up there yet because we got a secret right here. Yeah, if you miss, if you end up missing, uh, just pop, just pop the uh, bubble away and uh, fall back down. Try again. It's way faster. It's way faster than uh, going out of bounds. And it's a lot easier compared to. Uh, it, and it, and also, if you're trying to go for P rank, it guarantees that you do not lose your combo. Here's, here's the cheese topping. Uh, this one, this room is very decently easy to miss. So if you, so if you want to grab all the toppings, you might want to go up there. Anyway. And then, here's why this level is pretty decent. Or like one of the better ones. Because each time you transition through, uh, through a room, you get a little, uh, you get a little something like that. Of just, you know, freaking out in the rocket. Which is something I can appreciate. Now, there's another level that does this. But it adds a bit more variation to it, which is something I can appreciate. And also, per usual, the soundtrack in this game is killer. Anyway, here's the room. Uh, very important that you get that. There's that, there's a, there's a stupid rat that needs to get out of here. There we go. Alright. Oh, missed all three of them. Oh well. Uh, it, there's an achievement where if you, where if you, uh, body slam five of those aliens in a row, uh, you just get the achievement. 
Kind of like with the uh, with the ball form. If you hold back, it does slow you down. So if you're having trouble with the high speed stuff, it's a uh, that good idea to hold back on your on your control stick or hold or hold the opposite direction on your D-pad to slow to slow down so you so you can get better control. Anyway. Anyway, uh, let's transi let's transition to the next uh, to the next area. Anyway, let's just go up here. Yep, and the final topping's right there, so it's a good idea to try and. Uh, so it's a good it's a good idea to try and. Uh, Go for it, go for it. In terms of transformations, I think the rocket's one of the trigger ones. And that's just because it's, if, if you're not familiar with the layout, it's very easy to screw up. Yeah, so the rocket's not one of my best. Uh, it's not. Controlling the rocket's not really my best moment uh, in this game. But anyway. Yep, there's also an achievement uh, to go through this entire section without bonking into the uh, roof once. Uh, if you want to if you want to try and get that, uh, you're going to want to try and do a second lap to give yourself two chances if you haven't gotten it the first time. Because here's the thing. You don't need to complete the level. Like... Once you unlock your achievement, you don't need to complete uh, a level to to uh, have the achievement state. Once you once you got the achievement, you just automatically have the achievement. That's that. Anyway. And, and here's a clever uh, use of the uh, teleporter. And just like that. Well, that's all. That's all the secrets for this level. That part is uh, pretty simple. There we go. Easy peasy. And here's the rocket for us to head back. And then, and remember, we are. And remember, our. Uh, or Gadget's Closet is over here, so you're gonna want to make sure to grab that. And not, and not do that! Luckily, luckily we still have minutes to, uh, to kill. Also, uh, here's the, here's the hurry up part of the song. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's get that all now here. Nice. Alright, well, that's that one. Uh, let's go ahead and change our outfit again. Uh, because we have a really funny level, and this is one of the better levels in this game, in my, uh, in my opinion, of course. 
because levels that have really big gimmicks are really good. Like, I like both of the ones you get to play as Gustavo. Uh, oh yeah, spoiler alert, you only get to play as Gustavo twice in this game. There we go, Bowling Stripe. Yeah, I wonder why we're, bull wonder why we're getting Bowling Stripe or put on uh, Bowling Stripe going. We're going golfing! They're ready. So, this level's simple. Uh, see that grease ball? Beat him up. Gotta grab that mushroom. Yep. I know I'm like, I know I speed through that, but for those first two parts, if you want to get the Primo Bird, the easiest way to go about it is to just, uh, is to, well, the easy way to go about it is just a mock run. Now, keep in mind, if you, if you hop on, if you hop on the Grease Ball, like I did with those burgers there, uh, it counts as a, uh, as a hit, so you want to be careful about that. There's an achievement uh, for this level to get all the Primo Birds. So essentially, so essentially complete the, so essentially complete the course either on par or under par. Anyway, here's the first course. Also, I also like to mention the music. Uh, oh yeah, when hitting the, when hitting the grease ball, you, there's, uh, there's, there's two different angles you can do it. Straight ahead, like that, or, uh, or upwards, like you saw a bit earlier. Well, we're just gonna let him walk into the, uh, never mind, I forgot. The schnauzer, uh, gonna zip him up. Anyway, here's our first secret. Uh, I will say this much. A lot of the secrets are kind of easy, easy to find in this game. Because the game will tell you if you found the secrets. Yeah, because, like, the game will tell you if you found the secret or not. Uh, or, like, well, never really tell you if you found the secret or not. But... Secrets are very easy to find because there'll be an eye on like a on like a uh, spot, and they're not for special, and they're not, and they're just not for show. They are like, see that right there? See that eye? Yep. So the game will tell you uh, if there's a secret nearby. Anyway, this this secret is a fun one. Up over that guy. Uh, so so remember how I'm wearing the bowling uh, the bowling shirt? Uh, yeah. So all the stupid rats in this level are bowling pins. So I figured. So I figured it makes sense for a sport team level to wear a sport team shirt. Now these burgers, they're eh, they can be assholes sometimes. Uh, so they can do stuff like that. Oh, thank God. Did not want to do that three times. Luckily, luckily, the, luckily, uh, the devs. Uh, Give you gave you a par of 15, uh, 15 hits to be able to complete complete it and get the primo bird. So, so at least are generous. At least are really generous with that. Get, get rid of these guys uh, while I'm here. Anyway, go down here. Because we need to uh, get rid of that bowling, that, that bowling pin uh, rat there. 
Also, Grease Ball can kill any enemy. So, also keep that in mind. And, it, oh yeah, here's, a, here's another funny thing. If an enemy lands on the electrical socket, they die. You know what? I've been having to use the super taunt uh, too much. Anyway. Okay, the only way to get back... Well, I mean, I guess you can shine spark. If you really wanted to. I always forget, I always forget that guy's there. Well then, yep, so far we're doing pretty good with these, uh, with these courses. Anyway, here's our final course. And there we go. Uh, Jerome is up here, very easy to miss. So, so if you're trying to get the treasure for this level, Keep in mind that you have to grab the rope. Yep. Uh, you can actually avoid uh, that guy right there to save you some time. Uh, very, very good if you're going for S rank and such. Hey, right, these guys. If you don't kill them immediately, they'll be. Become invincible to all your attacks except for your parry. Uh, for that nose right there, your best bet is to go is to try and uh, go for the upper. And then the same upwards right there, and there you go. Yep, be careful with those outlets there. Yeah, this room is filled with sort of room that outlet, so. So, chances are you're probably to get hit by them a bunch. Go for the uppercut, and there we go. And we got the achievement there, so that's, that's nice. Yep. And you gotta remember to jump right there. Because otherwise you'll be otherwise you'll be continuously be sent back and forth. And then just be sure to jump there. And there you go. If you if you screw it up, you're gonna have to go for a second lap. If you do this on the first time, if you don't have the second lap port unlocked, then you're gonna have to replay the level to get it. So so always remember to jump right there. Yeah, anyway, uh, depending on how fast I, uh, depending on how fast I get this done, I'll, uh, I'll go for, I'll go for the second lap. Which I think I have plenty of time for that, so, so yeah, I, I should be good. Alright, well, we're, we're just gonna ignore that guy. Go through here, go through the second lap portal, and we're back here. Only, only this time you no longer have to worry about doing the, uh... You, you no longer have to worry about doing the, uh... The golf challenges, so you can just kind of speed on through here. Just be sure to grab as much of the collectibles as possible, so you can, uh... So, uh, so you can try and get S rank. It shouldn't be too hard. And just uh, don't forget about the outlets here. Because they can be the bane of your existence. Uh, rather, and then rather than taking the... Uh, Yep, we're just gonna try and speed, speed on through here. Yep, we 
we still have plenty of time, but we haven't we haven't exactly achieved that rank yet, so. Luckily we took Okay, now we got S rank. Alright, let's let's get that on out of here. Time for us to go box speed. Let's get us a few extra points by taunting, because we have a lot of time. There we go. And that's another S rank on the board. Again, we're not going for all the S we're not going for all S ranks this let's play, but uh but I might as well style when I when I could, you know? Anyway, we have all the levels cleared. Let's go ahead and fight the World 3 boss. Alrighty. Hmm, I wonder who this I wonder who this guy is. This is a noise. Ah, uh, if you if you guys don't know, he is a uh, a play on the Domino's old mascot, the Noi. So his pattern is pretty much random. No matter how many times you fight this match, his patterns will always will always be completely random rather than doing a set pattern. His, uh, he only has four attacks. They're very easy to avoid, but in the second phase, they start getting a bit nuts, making it difficult to uh, avoid all of them. You know, I probably should have put the pizza outlet on for this, but whatever. Uh, so the noise is actually planned to be a playable character. Uh, this was this was always something that was planned for the game. Uh, unfortunately, none of his animations. Well, a lot of his animations are done, but not all of them were done. For the game for ladies to be able to play as it. So he's gonna be a uh he's gonna be in a, a extra update for the most part. Also, yep. Yep, and this is what I mean. Uh when this guy shows up. Wow, that didn't count. Well, no P rank, but that's fine. I didn't P rank this guy on, on my uh, personal thing file yet. Uh, he was blood right there, so watch out for that. Uh, keep in mind, every time when he does skateboard, uh, he's gonna jump, and he's also gonna kick the board at you to to, uh, to kick you away. Okay, Pogo. Yeah, but if if you grab the enemy, just hit him right there. You can instantly stun him. So. So, if you're able to, always try and go for that. Fade out the explosion. Oop. Just gonna do Pogo again. Anyway, if you do not interrupt his Pogo attack... <laughs> I still collect this knife. Uh, yeah, if you, inter if you do not interrupt his Pogo attack, he goes into the, uh, to the noise pressure. Also... The noisette of the nurse's girlfriend just steals him away from you before he shreds you with his mini gun. But yeah. But yeah. Uh, that was a good fight. That was a good fight indeed. Uh in terms of difficulty, uh the noise and the and the and the fourth boss in the game are kinda interchangeable on difficulty. Uh in terms of beating, I would say the fourth boss is a bit easier because he actually has a set pattern compared to the noises, uh more random patterns. In terms of P ranking, I would say the noise is easier because even though those patterns are random, they're very easy to avoid. And, and, and even phase, phase 2 isn't too bad to uh, to deal with. Compared to Ball 4 where phase, uh, phase 2 gets a bit, uh, a bit really wonky. And he technically does have a third phase. Anyway, with that being said, let's head on to the next floor. Anyway, our first level is right here. The Pink City. Uh, before we start, well, fuck you, Cheese Slime. Uh, there's a little secret here. Wait, actually, you want? Ah, uh, we'll keep with the outfit we have on. But, uh, one of the outfits we that I have unlocked is a sweater. How do you unlock it? Get punched by this fucker. Yep. 
And anyway, here we are in the big city. Uh, you can you can talk next to a uh, to a pig, and they'll take your picture. Anyway, all the toppings will be behind these tacks, so you're gonna want to uh, go through the here. Die. No bacon. How dare you! Also, those pig cops will latch on to you. It's kind of a mechanic as as you have to pull away from him, you go into Mach 3, and then turn around in order to uh, kill him, as you need to turn around and stuff. Anyway, it's very easy to miss this second taxi, so, so be sure to do that when you can. Anyway, we're gonna go this way. Uh, and forget the crouch, because I forgot you have to crouch there. And then let's just head back this way. And then our first secret is right here. And be sure to start from the way I'm going about this. Anyway, that's that second section done. Let's uh, let's kind of continue on through. Oh, too late. We were no longer able to keep the combo. Oh well. This level is kind of a tricky one to P rank anyway. Yep. There's achievements. I'm not sure if I mentioned it. There's achievements to take pictures with all the pigs. So every time you see a pig in the background, call next to them. They'll take your picture. Because they're nice, because uh, they're nice, lovely folks. And yeah, we don't need the rat balloon. Anyway, let's just go down here. Anyway, we're just gonna go right here. Uh, somehow, not get latched. Not have, not get latched on by this. Uh, uh, by that pig there. Uh, grab onto this crap balloon. Go this way. Kill, uh, kill that asshole. Turn around. Go down here. And let's just speed on through here. Break that open. Uh... Yeah, kill that guy. Uh, fuck him in particular. And there's a little secret here. It doesn't. It's not really like a secret secret, but it's uh, it's an important secret as it gives you achievement. Welcome to the baker room, folks. Uh, so the, the so the fun fact: the theme that plays when you're near jo uh, Pillar John is Metophobia. This exact theme plays appropriately in this room. And if you know it's in the background, there's a pig, ominously staring at us. He he knows what we've done. He knows very well what we've done. And so does the cops, because now we're getting arrested. But anyway, I remember remember our good good old friends Gustavo and Brick. Yeah, this is the only other level you get to play as some, unfortunately. Which is a damn shame, because... Like, I don't want to say... Like, I don't want to say that... Like... Like, I don't know. If you're going to have a second playable character and underutilize him like this, I feel like it's... I feel like it's kind of a bit of a shame. Uh, if you're going to do this. But it's what... It's whatever, I guess. Pepino is the main star. Gustavo and Break is kind of here as, like, support. Yeah, although it'll be pretty cool if you get to play as Gustavo and break in the other level. You dare shoot a gun at me? Anyway, this level is on... I think... I think this level is a bit... is paced a lot better compared to, uh... 
Here's her second secret, by the way. But I feel like this level's paced a lot better than Gnome Forms. Because Gnome Forms, you're always playing as uh, Gustavo and... Uh, you're always playing as Gustavo and Brick. For, like, majority of the level. And only Peppino at the end. Wait for uh, Brick to get down here. Uh, we, oh, we missed the guy. Ah, yeah, well. I'm sure, I'm sure that won't uh, bite us in the ass. There we go. You know what? I guess having the bowling pin uh, have it on kind of makes sense because we're playing as Gustavo and Brick. And there is achievement to kill three enemies uh, in a row with the uh, when kicking Brick. So anyway, once you dealt with that room, we're just going to have to go over here. Kill that guy there by jumping on him because I forget you can kill enemies by jumping on them with Gustavo. Something that Peppino can't do. Also, uh, I would like to take the time to appreciate the music we have here. Also, uh, there's a pig right there. So if you want the achievement, you also have to talk with Gustavo as well. Now, obviously, I'm not going for all the achievements, so I could care less if I uh, miss all of them. Anyway. Anyway, here's the uh, last area. Now, obviously, those pig cops are back, but rather than hooking you, they're going to steal brick. Because they're assholes. Luckily, you do have a spinning Larry yet today. You do this. Yep, and and you don't even have to worry about that there's that third one there. Anyway, grab, be sure to grab uh, Jerome there, cause uh, so that we don't have to backtrack. And then the final secret for this area is right here. Yep, and every time, and every time you, uh, uh, how did I miss that? But yeah, every time you, uh, blow up like that, you can actually do a double jump. And that's how you, and you actually need to double jump in order to escape the, uh, actually escape the level. Now, you could, there we go, yeah, you could use the, uh, Use the rap balloons, but if you're a gamer like me, you could you could just wall jump like a pro. Anyway, always watching Gustavo, and we uh. Well, I don't know about you. I think we I think we saved the city. <laughs> See, everyone's happy now. See, that, uh, that strip in the background is really happy. Oh, except for that guy. I, that guy was angry for some reason. And that guy tried to shoot us. Yeah, I guess he just can't please people sometimes. Anyway, you're gonna have to go down here uh, in one escape. here. Grab that belt. Immediately go down here. And then, uh, be sure to pick up that Pino. I up there's that funny frame again. Uh, the, in order to get to, uh, to Jared's wall, it breaks the floor underneath the, uh, toilet. A uh, very clever spot. And there it is. Also, uh, Pizza Face is here for some reason. Don't know why. I guess he. Uh, I guess he has a second job as a as a cab driver. I ain't gonna question it. Oops, hold on. 
Actually, we're gonna go for, uh, for P rank. Well, not P rank, but S rank. You know what I mean. Anyway, back to, back to Gustavo and Brick. How dare you punch me? Don't you have... Don't you have manners? Anyway, we have we have plenty of time to get uh, get out of here. Get that bell. And then let's uh, let's get that on out here and grab that bingo. So we haven't we haven't got S rank yet, but at least this time we found all the secrets. So there we go. Now we got S rank. And look, to make sure we secure it, we're gonna call the bitch at the. Uh, there we go. And that's it. Now, unfortunately, folks, that's going to be it for today's episode. And we did go a bit over, probably because we have to do a second lap. Or, I decided to do a second lap. Uh, anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing. Uh, I, I would really appreciate it if you did, because it'll help the channel grow and help YouTube push my content. Because the algorithm is very bad, and it's unsupportive of uh, smaller channels. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we're most likely going to be going through the rest of... 4 4 and maybe get to 4 or 5? I don't know. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, buh buh.